Double Down Outdoors. Always double down. All right, guys, so it's April 2nd, 2023, which means it's time to start baiting some bears. This is the first time I'm headed out this season. I got the Argo, I got the trailer, all my barrels and all my bait headed to a spot that we've been hunting for the last two years. I call this place South One. And even though this spot in particular is two hours away from the vein system of the rest of the bait sites that I run, doesn't mean I'm just going to throw it away because the drive sucks. I love this spot because there's a ton of cool genetics in these woods. Uh, for example, we had a bear here we call Little Red Monkey. We had a nice blonde bear here last year. And we had a lot of opportunities on some very respectable bears. But the one that we wanted just didn't step out. So what we're going to try and do is move one of the barrels in a little bit further. See if we can't pull some new bears along with all the other bears we had coming in last year, because I know for a fact that a lot of them made it through and there's not a lot of hunting pressure out here, which is awesome for stuff like this. So let's offload all the gear, jump in the Argo and head into the woods. <laughs> She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me Nobody did it like this, so they wonder, they asking me If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me and while I have a moment before I head into the woods, I want to send a big thank you to Argo North for setting us up with this sweet Argo and trailer. So fantastic just being able to get everything in in one round, one trip, and it's got a lot of power. So check them out, Argo North, ton of stock, rent or buy. Fantastic guys to deal with. Can't wait to keep using this thing and see what it's really made of. I need the tops, that's why I'm heading. Yeah. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me Nobody did it like this, so they wonder, they asking me If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me I came up from the bottom, now look at me now, they mad at me Alright, so what I've done here is I've unhooked the trailer from the Argo Only because this thing weighs a ton and it's pretty long So when it goes through the tight spots and this snow that's still really deep here in the bush um, it doesn't make it very ideal, especially if I got to back out, turn around. I'm going to be doing like a 30 point turn just to get going again. So but yeah, just a few more things to grab, grab our straps, grab our locks, grab the hammer so we can nail up our sign saying we have a bear bait in the area because that is very important. So yeah, I guess let's get in there. All right, guys. So we finally made it here after all that hard work, unhooking, loading up the Argo again, driving in through this tight quarters. As you can see, it's not very suitable for an Argo, but that being the case, the snow hasn't helped. It's pretty early to be baiting around here, but you never know when these bears are gonna start poking their heads out of their dens and uh, want to eat some food. So a ton of memories on this hill here, especially with that white barrel behind me. That barrel has seen a ton of bears over the years and uh, it's pretty much what you would consider old reliable. But today we're gonna be switching out the barrel, doing a little bit of grain dropping with the oats, uh, putting out some uh, meat scrap, stuff like that. So let's get to it. out of the way. Now the reason that I want to use this barrel over the white one is because I built it a little bit better than that one. Plus it's steel so it's a little more rigid. One hole here. We got another hole down here. Plus full open lid. Pull that lock off. Open that up, you can put beavers, oats, whatever it is in there. Quick and easy, lock it up, done. Don't have to worry about a bear busting through a lock. All right, so the next step is to start filling the barrel. I'm gonna be putting some oats, some old cooking grease, and some meat scrap from over the year to try and get this thing as disgusting and smelly as possible. The other really important thing you wanna remember when you're setting up your bait barrel is that you wanna have it tied to a sturdy tree, chained, cabled, whatever it is. I like using steel cable because it's a little bit easier to pack around as opposed to chain. And in my opinion, it holds up just as good. So let's tie her up. I like to leave enough slack so that the bear can grab the barrel a little bit, play with it, but not completely knock it over and spill everything inside through the holes. 
because if they want something bad enough they're going to get it anyway but at least this way we can kind of keep them on the barrel playing with it and it gives you a better chance for a shot all right now let's see how long it is before i lose these keys too Good smelling oats. Get some other stuff in there. All right, so it's starting to snow pretty good out here. So I'm going to try and get out of here as soon as I can. But that's basically the gist of it. Right there, we've got our barrel sealed sign. And then another sign down there, kind of at the head of the trail. I decided to put up a little pail about eight and a half feet up the tree. Just they have something to really try and work at. Nice and smelly. This bait is all done besides the trail camera. First bait of the year. So that's awesome. And we got our uh, Reconico Scout, of course, just like last year. Same tree, same everything. Let's do it all again. All right, well, I'm all loaded up and ready to go home. That was an awesome afternoon of baiting. I'm really glad that I got that bait out when I did because the snow was really starting to come down. So even though we had a few hiccups in the bush with the Argo going through some tight spaces, it was able to manage to get through that three feet of snow in there. But I don't know, maybe the bears are gonna be sleeping a little longer than I thought. Hope you guys found something in this video useful today. We'll see you guys next time.